And before anyone says, oh, porch pirates, no, there wasn't any. We were out that door in less than 10 seconds after it was delivered. That's right. FedEx is trash. All the essential oils we ordered to fill orders, make stuff, wasn't even delivered. We looked next door because they have a habit of doing that. Nothing. Drove to every house with the same address in this neighborhood. Nothing. They are overworked and they get to the house and they mark it as delivered and then they th throw it in a dumpster somewhere. And they don't care. And then when you call and ask to speak to a manager to try to get something done about it, the, the, it's no managers available. It's the holidays. We don't let customers speak to the managers during holidays. I fucking told them that you have the ability to find out who's in that van and tell them to get their ass back here and fucking give me my shit. It, it's, I'm not on, on here to say that you need to do your fucking job because this happened to me. You just need to do your fucking job. Whatever job you've decided to do, you need to do it to its fullest. I went to the UPS store three times today, even though our website indicated that in order to get your shit done by Christmas, we had to have your order by the 13th. I went to UPS three times today to make sure it got in the system. We're not using the post office, and we sure as fuck ain't using FedEx because the post office breaks shit and FedEx doesn't even deliver it. I had one today. It was like overnight FedEx, 43 some dollars, but they couldn't tell me the ETA. Overnight. And what? You see, my face is red, right? I, I, I just couldn't believe the level of or lack of customer service. When we all know Amazon can contact the driver, they can contact the distribution facility, they can say, hey, when van number 2589 whatever comes in the door, get that box. Get it. They all have to return boxes to somebody when they get there. They can't just drop them off. They have to be returned and, and be told why. Amazon's not the only one that micromanages. They all do. And these drivers are probably paid $12, $15 an hour and they don't give a fuck. And it's sad. As an employer, yes, you're busy during the holidays. I get it. And guess what? Next week's going to be even worse. But if you can't handle getting out of the van, grabbing the box, and taking it to somebody's door, then you should probably find a job where you sit on your fat ass and answer the phone. FedEx truck was nowhere around. And we literally left within like two minutes after it wasn't even here. I went up to the mall right up the street. Nothing. Gone like the wind. So now I've got to dump out another amount of money to get another replacement. Hopefully they'll replace it. But I mean, if it were me, I wouldn't. I'd say, I'm sorry, it, was, it shows delivered. I mean, I don't know you. You could be trying to get free product out of me. And this is the mess that, that, that being lazy causes. It causes a mess. So I don't care what you're doing. Uber, gig, uh, Amazon, um, fucking retail at Walmart. I don't care what you're doing. If you can't do a job properly and to its fullest, well, then you need to go live somewhere in the woods and, and learn how to survive on fucking berries and shit in the fucking dirt because society has no place for you. There's no, no excuse in being lazy. Absolutely none. And if you're overworked and they're micromanaging you and telling you to hurry the fuck up, then you, you know what you do? You bring the van back and you quit. And you go home and you don't have to deal with that shit. You don't have to deal with anybody's abuse. I don't care who they are. You can get a job at UPS. I saw it on their website. You'll have a decision in 30 minutes. I mean, literally. Amazon. They're all hiring right now. So you take the fucking van back and you say, I'm done. You can find someone to do this for, for you. 
Because all those managers in those facilities act like they're hot shit and they're the experts and they don't know how to, you know, get shit done. They don't. Not any better than you do. But if you're going to get to the point where the abuse is causing you to take customer packages or throw them out to save your job, then that job ain't worth having. Period. That's all I got. Stop being fucking lazy.